I've had several inquiries as to where you find source artwork for map tools. Uh, some of them are actually built in. For example, these uh, tour stand objects. Uh, these doors are one of my particular favorites. Let's see, object, doors. The nice thing about these doors is when you rotate them, they rotate around the axis of the hinge of the door. So that's perfect. Um, unfortunately, line of sight doesn't follow, but that's a different critique. Um, by default, they're not there, but you add them by going to File, Add Resource Library. You click on the Map Tools icon, and these are all the ones you can download for free. Um, the Map Tools creators um, have selected some of the best uh, packs that people have offered for free, and I'd have to say that these tour stand ones are pretty good. Hopefully I'm not butchering your name too bad. Um, I've not seen all these other ones. Here's some more dungeon tiles. Huh, I got added quite a few that I have not looked at before. But uh, these are some very simple ones to, to install. To install them, I go grab one here. Um, generic town, install, download them in a zip file. Installs them. Here's a generic town. Uh, there's objects. So you can throw some houses in there pretty quick. Um, you can scale them to whatever size you want. Um, trees. Pretty straightforward, but quick. So the packages that uh, Map Tools provides by default are excellent places to start. As you get more advanced, you'll find you want more stuff, and the one I use is called Mapping. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, overlay, it's a blood. Um, what else we got here? Terrain, like some boneyard stuff. Really cool stuff. Most of the textures are not sized properly, so you have to go in there and edit them or whatever. Um, but it gives you really good um, places to start for your textures. To install these, it's a little more difficult. What you need to do is go to rptools.net and you want to find this thing called mapping objects. And this is actually a link to a BitTorrent file. If you're new to BitTorrent, it's not just for ripping off music and stuff, but there's actually good use for it. This file is absolutely huge and basically nobody wants to host the file. So they put it on a torrent so everybody shares um, the price for it. Um, the link to it is, well, I'll show it to you here. You can just search for it. Search for uh, RP tools and mapping objects and you'll find it. What that does is it downloads this mapping underscore objects dot torrent file. Take your favorite torrent program or download one. My favorite one is BitThief. Um, okay, so I'm not a big contributor. Uh, you run that guy. And, oops. I just drag him in there. Fine. And start download. And it'll start downloading this file. It might take you a day or two or three, depending upon your um, internet speed. Um, that's one downside of using torrents is you don't get the file immediately. Once complete, you want to unzip the thing into a folder. I just call it mapping. Um, and you'll see it has the same structure as it does in Map Tools. And from there, you basically go to File, um, Add Resources Library, and you basically browse the path that has um, that Map Tools in it. And then it adds it to your resource library over here. And that's all there is to it for adding resources.